telomeres are the ends of chromosomes, and chromosomes are the little tiny things in every cell in our body which carries the genetic information, and they're made of long DNA molecules. And every end of the DNA uh, has to have a little protective cap on it, and that's what the telomere is. And it really does protect the chromosome, and therefore it protects the genetic material. If you don't have a proper protective cap, because the cap can wear down throughout life, and then suddenly it stops working, then the cells don't work properly and start sending the wrong signals to each other and to other cells around the body. We're very interested in how the wearing down of telomeres is related to people's health, partly because we want to know, you know, is it just a biomarker, is it just you know, an indicator and it's really other things going on, or how much is it really causing declines in health, which then are seen as increases in, say, the chronic diseases of aging. But we have a pretty good idea now that it is causing at least some of the risks that people will have the chronic diseases of aging. Um, you know, the, the big three, the diabetes, cancers, cardiovascular, and of course, you know, we think more and more about dementias as people get older and older. And the telomere shortness that you can see is predicting a higher chance of somebody dying in the future. It's not a tiny effect. Our cells have a certain amount of an enzyme, and we call it telomerase, and it builds back telomeres. Unfortunately, it's not super good at it in humans. It's okay. It gets most of us through, you know, good long lives. But sometimes it doesn't work as well. And there can be many other processes that are wearing the telomeres down. Telomerase can build them back up with the help of lots of other factors in the cells. So what we'd like to know is how can we help that building up process? Well, we've been really interested in what roles nutrition and uh, exercise and uh, what, you know, what we eat, what role does that have in maintaining telomeres? Because we do know that maintaining telomeres is playing a role in what our health is going to be. And that's the thing that really matters for a lot of people, is, is what's their health going to be like? And there's a great name, it's called health span, which pretty much is the term that says, you know, your health span is the time in your life that you stay pretty healthy and you don't have a real frailty or disease or some real disability that you know really affects your life. So we all want our health span to be as close as possible to our lifespan. So we're down to the basics. Exercise, good nutrition, trying to do stress reduction, recognizing we can't avoid all chronic severe stress. It's very exciting when you find people of like mind who have similar kinds of um, goals and uh, you know ambitions, uh, and and when the two mesh, it's 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 wonderful because you know different different strengths are brought to the problem. Uh, you know we bring our strengths as our research um, expertise and uh, knowing a lot about you know over the years how telomeres work and more and more through a lot of interactions with uh, studies how that's impacting on human health and wellness and and Shackley has a goal of you know human health and well-being and and so that is, is a very uh, resonant kind of role that Shackley is playing as well and so having that ability there so we can respond and make it happen right away. That's something that the Shackley support is going to make possible. And that's, you know, that's huge for us. When you bring two very different kinds of strengths together, you know, good things happen. And so I'm very excited that, that this is going to be something where, you know, we really will make some true advances.